Hello and welcome to the late, 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 so late it's early show with your host Serdik. Today we will be interviewing the famous Isaac Gordon, otherwise known as Ryan Met. Good morning, Isaac. Good morning, Serdik. Now all these questions we have today were taken from the comment section of YouTube as well from Isaac's personal Discord. The link for that will be in the description. Yeah, you should join. It's actually really fun. The first question today is, Isaac, what is your name? My name is Isaac Gordon. How old are you and what grade are you in? I am currently 16. I will be 17 in a couple of days or weeks, I don't know. And I am a junior in high school. What equipment do you use for your videos? So you would think that with like the number of videos and stuff I have, I would use like fancy equipment, but no, I use my phone for everything. So I have a Google Pixel 3, and I use that for filming, editing, and all audio stuff. I think the one video I haven't used it for audio is the acoustic guitar cover of Bang, and I used one of these mics. But I do want to upgrade my setup soon and use these mics on the piano, so yeah. How many siblings do you have? I have five sisters, and all of them are younger than me. On a scale of 1 to 10, how annoying are they, and how many times have they interrupted you during a recording? My siblings are actually really good when it comes to me recording. So my parents help me get them into a room upstairs or downstairs, and I think they've only ever interrupted me two to five times. I don't know. They're really good about it. How long have you been playing the piano? So I officially started lessons when I was seven or nine, somewhere around there. And I think I started playing when I was like six because we had like a mini piano, like xylophone thingy. And I think the first song I learned was like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star is what my parents said. And then that's part of the reason why they put me in piano lessons because I could do that. So I took lessons, but I hated reading notes and practicing. So before every lesson, I would look up the video on YouTube of the song I was supposed to play for that week and then just listen to it and then I would use that to kind of fake my way through the lesson and make the teacher think that I practiced. So yeah, I took piano lessons until I was about in seventh grade and then I stopped. How much do you practice each week? Um, well, because I try to do one video a week, I usually practice one to two hours a day. How did you learn to play the piano the way you do now? Were there any artists that influenced your level of skill in playing or the style you're playing now? Okay, so I've always just really loved music and piano especially. So I do everything by ear and I made a video explaining how I do that and I'll put that link somewhere in here. And a big influence was I used to watch the piano guys on YouTube and then my grandma took me to one of their concerts when I was in seventh grade so that was really cool. And then another big YouTuber I used to watch was Francesco Perino. And I still watch like both of them on YouTube, but their covers are really cool. What made you decide to put your covers on YouTube? So I quit piano lessons and then I kind of didn't do anything with the piano for about six months. And then one day I went to the piano and I started learning some of my favorite songs by ear, like just listening to them and playing them. And I thought that was really cool. And so I watched other covers on YouTube of people, and the two biggest ones I used to watch were Chenille Rose and Junamu, or Nate, because like they covered AJR and John Bellion songs, which are like some of my favorite artists. And so yeah, I just decided to try it out, and yeah, gone from there. Okay. What is your favorite song? Okay, my favorite song is Karma by AJR. My favorite song is Burn the House Down by AJR. Yeah. What is your current go-to song? Um, my current go-to song is probably When I'm Down by Weathen, and I've also been listening to a bunch of Phineas songs recently. How many instruments can you play, and are there any other instruments you'd like to play, and you learn them all by ear? Okay, so yes, everything I do is by ear because I can't read sheet music. So, okay, if you gave me sheet music and said, okay, play this, I can kind of stumble my way through it. It takes, like, a long time. If you give me a song to listen to and you say, okay, play this, it usually takes me about an hour or so to like figure it out and then probably about 12 hours to fully be able to like perform it. Yeah, so the li list of instruments I can currently play include the piano, the guitar, and the ukulele. I'm still working on guitar and ukulele, but I'm getting better. And then songs I'd like to play, I really want to play the drums. I feel like that would be just really cool to learn how to do. And then I think the trumpet would also be really cool. 
What other artists do you like and recommend? Okay, so obviously AJR, and then there's John Bellion, um, Quinn92 is really good, American Authors, Andy Grammer, and then there's this other guy, Daniel Blair. He's like kind of small, but his music sounds similar to theirs, so it's really good. What's your favorite cover that you have done? Mine personally is Burn the House Down. Okay, so my, definitely Burn the House Down is one of my favorites because it's just so much fun to play. And then um, the, the entertainment's here. Wayla Sad is really fun. And then Bang. Oh, the Bang video is not one of my favorite covers, but it's basically what kickstarted my channel, and it's like my most viewed video. So that's really cool. Will you ever cover anything from the living room? There you have it. There's your cover for the living room. Okay, so I think I'll eventually cover songs from the living room album. It's just that I first discovered AJR with The Click and Neo Theater, but I just like songs from those albums better. So eventually I will just, yeah, I will. Will we ever get a ukulele cover for those songs? Probably. How do you learn songs so fast? A big thing that helps is memorizing the lyrics. When I first want to learn a song, I just listen to it like a ton for the first like hour or two of the day. And then I'll go to the piano and then try to play along with it. And then I'll have the lyrics sheet in front of me so I can like, yeah, memorize it easier. Because lyrics help me keep my place while I'm playing. Practice. Practice. Yeah, practice. Have you ever composed original pieces, written your own songs, and would you ever share them on YouTube? Okay, so I've tried writing piano songs, uh, like coming up with my own original pieces, but a big pro problem with learning things by ear is that when I go to write my own thing, I end up just playing things that are already in my head. So I've, think, come up with like three or four songs, but they end up just being things that already exist. So I'm like, oh, this sounds really cool. And then I'm like, oh, that's just river flows in you. So yeah, can't do that. So yeah, if I ever come up with something that is my own original song, I will most likely share it on YouTube. Do you have a favorite key? My car keys. Or the key of D. That's a cool one. Are you going to continue to make piano covers, or do you think maybe you'll branch out into other content for the future? Well, for other content, I'm definitely going to continue making piano covers, but I mean, we're making this video, so that's fun. And um, I have wanted to branch out, but I'm just not really sure what I could do. So if you have any ideas of like other things you, other types of videos you'd want me to make, let me know in the comments, because I'd love to hear your ideas. What is your favorite AJR EP or album? I would say Neo Theater is definitely their best album they've made. It's just like, listening to it from start to finish is just heavenly. It sounds so cool. What is your favorite color? Let's go with red. For our best question yet, do you yeet commonly? No. How do you keep yourself motivated to learn to play new stuff? So I think one of my favorite parts of having a YouTube channel is reading the comments. I think it's just really fun to interact with people and to like have conversations with them and to see that they're actually enjoying my music. So when I like when I'm learning a new song, I'm like trying to get it out really fast after the new song comes out because then like people see it more and then I love, yeah, just getting comments and reading them. It's one of my favorite parts. Can you sing? Ish. I'm working on it. It's getting there. It's yeah. Getting there. I've been practicing for a couple of months and it's definitely improved, but yeah. If you join the Discord, you can see lots of small snippets of Isaac uh, exploring his singing, as well as other people who are very talented. So join the Discord. Yeah. Ryan, where are Jack and Adam? Are they not here? No, I, I didn't see him come off the airplane. Oh, that's kind of sad. Uh, I think they're back in New York. Okay. Yeah. What's one unreleased OK Orchestra song you are really excited to do a cover for? I'm really excited for a World Smiles Violin. That's... I don't know. I'm just, I think that'll be really fun to play. How would you rate yourself when it comes to your schoolwork? Well, yesterday I bribed my teacher. 
But no, um, <laughs> I've managed to keep almost a 4.0 my entire like high school career. I've had one A minus last year for a final grade. So, yeah. Pancakes or waffles? And there's really only one correct answer, so. Waffles? Congrats. Okay. Who's your favorite member of AJR other than yourself? Ryan. Other than yourself. Oh, sorry. Um, I don't know. Jack's good at singing, and Adam like does environmental stuff, and he plays the bass, which is really cool. But Ryan does all the music production, so I would say Ryan. <laughs> Egotistical narcissism. Uh, would you rather become a giraffe or a penguin, and why? Penguin. Um, I would say giraffe because they have long necks. Because and penguins that, are fat and lazy. They're not lazy. They swim. And I swim. And uh, what else would they do? Okay, yeah, they walk around on their feet, I and mean, people do that too. But yeah, I'll go with giraffe because they're tall. And yeah, so, would you ever consider putting your songs on Spotify? Okay, so there are a couple of different issues with this. One, sound quality. M um, the quality in my videos isn't amazing, but it's also not terrible. So I wouldn't feel proud of it if I stuck it on Spotify. So maybe if I graded my setup for audio than I was sitting on Spotify. But another big problem is copyright issues because I'm not sure if you can put a cover that's not your own on Spotify without getting like sued or shot by someone. Shot especially. Yeah, we don't want that. Definitely not. So yeah, I would say possibly in the future, but I'm not sure for right now. What is your internal monologue while you're in the middle of filming a video? Okay, so this one's kind of funny. So if I'm recording, like it takes me a whole, like especially for new songs, it takes me a really long time to finally get a perfect take. So usually if I think about it too much, I'll mess up. So like if, I, if I'm thinking this has to be perfect, I can't mess up, I'm gonna mess up like a whole lot. But if I'm like Pressure. just relaxing and singing the song in my head, then I'll usually get it like a lot faster. And like what also helps is like noticing like really small details that don't have anything to do with like the current thing I'm doing. So if I say, oh, my hand's itching, that's weird. Or like my <laughs> head's itching, or like, what am I gonna eat after this? So, yeah. Who's your favorite person on the Discord? Serdic. Sorry, Astral. Eat it, boy. <laughs> we're taking that out? No, we're not. <laughs> what piano brand would you choose if you had a choice? Probably a Steinway. I think that's an option, isn't it? Like, yeah, Steinway and Steinway. A grand piano? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go with that. What is your favorite movie, series, anime? Movie, anything by Pixar. Series, Mandalorian. Anime, no. I couldn't answer the question any better. Okay. What brand of piano do you use? I think it's a Kimball. I mean, you'd think I'd know this immediately after like spending my whole life there but no i'm pretty sure it's Kimball. <laughs> how long does it usually take you to record a cover so you've seen i've uploaded bloopers videos it really just depends on how much i've practiced a song and how exhausted i am at the time if i'm like really well rested and i know the song and i've like practiced it a ton the day before and i just go into it and try recording it'll like usually like first try i found usually my first take is the best Unless I mess up, and yeah, I mean that—that's how it usually wor works. But yeah, my first take Sometimes. is gonna be has the highest chance of doing the best. What is your favorite chord on the piano? Da. What got you into AJR's music? So I'm pretty sure the first song I ever listened to was "Let the Games Begin," and that was like just a really cool song that I liked, and then. I think a couple months later, I heard Sober Up and Netflix Trip, and I'm like, oh, these are like really cool. So I sent them to Serdic, and then we like discovered the click together. And this was, I think, a little bit after the time Neo Theater came out. It was and, uh, the fall uh, after, wasn't it? Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, so we discovered the click, and then we listened to The Living Room, and we thought, oh, that's cool. And later that summer, he sent me a bunch of songs from Neo Theater, and we're like, oh, wow, these are like amazing. So, yeah, that's kind of the whole process of how we got into it. Our next question is, how's your day going, man? It's doing pretty good. Pretty good, I mean, huh? we've recorded this how many times now? <laughs> Several. <laughs> <laughs> it's still recording, right? Okay, we're good. Technical issues. Okay. Do you prefer cake or ice cream? 
Pie. 50 cent pies from Walmart. The ones with 400 calories a bite. I should be a lot fatter than I am. How can you be so speed? LOL. How do you learn these songs, and is it possible to make sheet music of them? Okay, I've already discussed how I learned them. Sheet music, I know there are um, computer programs you can plug in keyboards and then play piano, and then it makes sheet music for you, but I don't currently have the technology technology yeah. technological capabilities i don't have the current capabilities to do that so currently no but maybe in the future yeah once 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 you're big you know fat no okay <laughs> um what is the name of your piano gary for obvious reasons how many times do you have to try before you can get a good video Usually, like, again, it depends on how much I'm, I've practiced the song, but anywhere from 1 to 25, that, that seems like a reasonable number. Kind of low, but we'll go with it. Are your performances one take, or do you edit them to make them? Everything that I do is one take, except the Bummerland live version, because I was really tired of filming that, and it was taking forever, so I just decided to cut the end and... Anyway, yeah, it's not a very good edit, but a lot of people don't watch to the very end anyway, so. <laughs> Why did the piano get its name, The Piano? Hey, Google. On the website Yamaha.com, they say, the instrument was actually first named Clavicimbalo Call Piano Di Forte. This was shortened to the now common name, Piano. I wonder why they shortened it. Well, there you go. <laughs> Let's see. Let's use that name more often. Yeah, I know, right? We're gonna learn Clavicule. it. Clavicule piano forte. Yeah, forte. Okay. Indeed. Music theory. What color is your toothbrush? Probably purple, or red, or green. Honestly, I don't pay attention to colors that much. But if if my toothbrush were a tune, I could definitely tell you what tune it was. And what tune is that? I don't know. Probably. Uh, no, my toothbrush is definitely row, row, row your boat. <laughs> Is that what you sing while you brush your teeth? No. Okay. I sing the ABC song. Okay. I thought you were some weirdo for some reason. Yeah. I'm sorry. What would you do for a Klondike bar? For whatever Klondike bar is? I don't know. I'd probably pay a dollar. Five dollars. I, I don't know what it is. I've never had one before. <laughs> What's the best piano you've ever played? And was it acoustic or electric? I would say acoustic is definitely better than electric because there's actually weight to the keys and so it feels nice when you're playing it. So when like I play on an electric piano, it I don't know, I get the timing gets off and I don't like it as much. When you learn a song by ear, can you play it later without any practice? So I can play almost any song that I've listened to a lot. So like any AJR song, if you say, hey, play this song, I'll say, okay, yeah. So like I can play almost any AJR song on command, whether I covered it or not. So I really should get to covering all the ones I haven't covered. But um, yeah, so any song I have covered, if you say, okay, play the song, um, it'll take me, like if I listen to my arrangement and then I go to play it, it'll be a lot easier and it'll take me like a couple minutes. So I would say, yes, I can play almost any song without having to relearn it. How many hours of your life have you spent playing the piano? A lot. You haven't recorded it? What? You haven't recorded it? No, I have not recorded my entire life. So, Isaac has a new goal. No! <laughs> <laughs> Which are better, white or black keys? White keys are fun, but black keys are also fun. Karma isn't, like, karma is in black keys. So, I'd say yeah, black keys. What is the weirdest Kahoot game you have ever played? Wanna play Kahoot after this? No. Okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you listen to imagine dragons and if you have have you heard their new songs i have listened to them they're not my favorite artist like i'm basically just indifferent about their music so i have not heard their new songs but maybe my mind would change if i did hear some of the new stuff i don't know what are your favorite music genres um indie alternative rock pop rock yeah around there all the artists i'm in all the artists i mentioned and finally for our final question Hey, so while I was editing, I noticed that we forgot to answer the question, what are my plans for, like, a career, or, like, would music be a possibility? And 
I would say as of now, yes. So for Christmas, I got Pro Tools and a couple of mics, and I've been experimenting with that. And I would say for a possible career that I'm considering is either making my own music and writing songs or just doing stuff for other people. I don't know. Something with the music industry. Thank you for tuning in to the Late, 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 So Late, It's Almost Early show with your host, Jared Cray. Today we interviewed Isaac Gordon, a.k.a. Ryan Met. Tune in next time when we interview a sticky pickle. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.